So peep this, Zambian artist manager and entrepreneur Sean Kester was on the table with Diamond TV and he spoke about a wide array of topics concerning Zambian music. However, a few moments of this interview stood out to me and I'll talk about them briefly. Firstly, he encouraged new boys on the block, Chandana K, to improve on their stage performances and also to get a proper, well-structured management system. He said he had seen a lot of artists come and go with hype and just simply disappear because they didn't have proper management that would turn them into brands. Now, I agree with Mr. K-Star. I don't know who's managing the boys right now, but he has done a pretty good job of making them popular and getting them some decent gigs. However, if the boys want to become household names, gain an international audience, and branch out into other areas of mainstream media, they will need a well-structured management system that is dedicated to working specifically on different aspects of the image. Sean Kester also highlighted the fact that most Zambian artists are not brands and do not portray themselves as such. Another point which I actually agree with. If you were to ask me which Zambian artists have branded themselves well, I'd mention less than 10 names. Let's say Makitu, Slap D, Chef 187, Cleo Ice Queen, J Rocks, Pompey, and a few others, right? Now, as much as the industry is filled with good music right now, corporations will not want to work with an artist that isn't well branded no matter how many hit songs he or she has. The way an artist carries themselves, the way they dress, what they post on social media platforms are all characteristics that corporations look at before aligning their brands with yours. He also said his management company has only signed Maki 2 but handles the corporate side of things for Your Maps and Chef 187. He said the reason he wouldn't want to sign other Zambian acts is because he feels at some point they develop a superstar mentality and don't want to be told what to do or how to act. Now I can neither agree or disagree with this because I've never managed an artist before but just going by human nature and the egos entertainers are known to have. I wouldn't say this is far-fetched. All in all, I would generally agree that most Zambian artists need to work on getting themselves proper management systems that can focus on building their images and getting them aligned with big brands so as to further their careers. After all, it's called the music business. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you mentioned the sign artist part. We, we'll, we'll come back to that. But still on, on, on Chana Nake, how, how would you rate their, you know, the way they carry themselves out so far? You know, they're on, they're on stage, that stage work. You've seen a lot of artists perform and you've managed uh, some of the best people we have. How, how would you rate, you know, the way they, they carry themselves? Honestly, I wouldn't want to rate them at this particular moment, seeing mm -hmm. that was a sec their second um, performance. Mm -hmm. um, I'm expecting them to improve in terms of stage performance. I think that's very, very cardinal uh, for them. And um, I would encourage them uh, to get a proper, well-structured management system. Um, I've seen artists come and go. Mm -hmm. uh, artists come with excitement, and then they go. And if you have a proper management uh, or well-structured management, then then create you into a brand. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to mention names, but I've seen even cover uh, artists, whether they're groups or individual, whether Lusaka or Cobalt, uh, I must say, They've come and go because they lack proper management. They lack mm -hmm. proper structures. They lack, uh, you know, a management system that will make them into brands, mm -hmm. which is very cardinal because most of these artists are not brands. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, but the few Zambian artists who you'd call a brand. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why you find also, we, we keep on complaining that the corporate are not investing into the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. The few simple reasons why, because of your conduct. Two, because you're not making yourself into a brand. Mm -hmm. Only when you do make yourself into a brand, then a brand can be able to invest into that brand. Mm. Yeah. All right. So I, I know you're not big time into artist management now, but would you consider signing them under your, under your management? Um, <laughs> Since you say they need, you know, a proper structure. Yeah, no, not really. Mm. Um, look, my, my, my company still manages my keto, right? And um, um, the truth of the matter is over the years, we've always, mm, we've always, been stuck to manage a market who the reason being is well we can sign other artists mm -hmm. but like i'm saying there's um sorry to say but 
at some particular point, with Zamin artists, they feel like uh, there's, there's some level of superstarship, you know, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they don't want to be controlled or told what to do. Uh, and for such things, I don't really personal as the CEO of the company, I don't really tolerate to such kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, for Mac too, Mac is like a brother to me. Mm -hmm. And somehow we, I tell him, when it comes to work, mm -hmm. it's work. When it comes to work, we are chilling, we're having a, you know, a drink. Yeah. We're having a drink, but it's business, it's business. Let's respect business. And I think over the years, I think that's why we've worked over, over 12 years now together. Okay. Uh, yes, it's been ups and down, but we've always created mm. this uh, you know, brotherhood, then there's work. Okay. Uh, talking about uh, if we could manage Shandana K, well, no, uh, but I'm always open to assisting and Zambian artists who come and say, look, there's a lot of artists that call me every day, trust yeah. me, every day. They call me looking for help and looking for, um, you know, can you send me a contract uh, that I can use for this? I don't charge them. I help. My passion for the industry is the reason why I've stayed up to this level. Even when my, well, my focus right now is 40% for the industry, 60% mm -hmm. for my other businesses. Mm -hmm. And this 40% is dedicated to our artists. Okay. But at the same time, we give the attention to any other person who will come and seek help to us oh, without nice. any fee at all. All right. This is just to support the industry as well. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. That's why you're definitely a legend in the background, Sean K star. Um, but you mentioned artists that you've signed. Obviously, you've mentioned Mark Tui is under your management. Are there any other artists that you have going on? We, we uh, for Sheffy and uh, artists like uh, Your Maps, we don't have contracts with them, mm -hmm. but we do their corporate stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Because this is it's family to us. Mm. This is family. They're under, they're under our level. Speaking of Your Maps, He's had the whole situation going on. Have you, have you um, been behind the crisis management going on? Have you been giving him advice from a uh, you know, PR point of view? Uh, well, I, I, the only thing that I told him is, look, uh, I think as an individual, he's, um, I, I, I think even Mark, uh, you, you, may, you may obviously understand that he may have had one or two stuff exactly. on social media. Yeah. But what we do as a company is, look, we, there's a difference between public and private life. Mm -hmm. We don't manage his private life. Mm. We manage his public life. And uh, there are certain things like marital issues or relationships issues like yeah. maps. Personally, I don't feel like it's my, uh, my responsibility to interfere. Mm. But as a brother, I'll be able to advise that I think the best way to do is this. Not as a company saying, let's do this. But what happens when the private life begins to affect the public life? and also the business side of things. Do you still not want to interfere? I'm a believer, and, and sorry to say, but this is not to encourage uh, foolishness, sorry to say. <laughs> but I'm a believer that there's no bad publicity. Yeah. But how you handle, and, and I'm, I'm a believer in that um, what, define, what defines a man is not how many times you fall, but how, how you rise up every time you fall. And I think we are all doomed to make mistakes at some a particular point. Mm. Uh, he may have made a mistake, but look, he, he sent a, a statement yesterday, mm -hmm. or I, don't, I think the day for yesterday, apologizing mm. uh, for his, uh, you know, misunderstanding or people misunderstanding what's going on. Yeah. Um, and look, people heard one story from one person. I mean, from one person. They didn't hear from his from side. side yeah. I think we, we, we should learn to, before we judge anybody, mm -hmm. let's learn to listen to both sides. Both sides then you can judge. But mm -hmm. I think a lot of people really, as Zambians, is... We judged him based on one story. I'm not saying he's right, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying the girlfriend was right. But what I'm saying is, I think as a, as a human being, mm -hmm. listen to both stories before you judge.